Welcome cuties, let's create! Good afternoon, today I want to be sharing my favorite memory. I was trying to find the comment of who told me, um, who asked me to do this, but I wasn't able to find that comment anymore and so I can't give credit to whoever asked me to do this, but um, I thought it was a great idea. So of course my favorite memory is probably predictable, but it is the day I got married to my husband. And I am going to talk about kind of leading up to it and that day. So um, we met in December 2018 and um, we saw each other every day. Like I'm seriously like telling you like every single day. Um, obviously there was a couple days where we didn't see each other, but we saw each other a lot, very frequently. He lived probably about 15, uh, well he, he lived 15 minutes south of me, but he was working about Mm, 10 minutes away from my house and so on his way to work I mean on his way home he would pass my house and so normally he would just come and hang out and then um, he would go you know back home and so um, in about February of 2019 um, he kind of told me in January that he was going to go to Texas to do summer sales and I knew that I loved him so much and I was like I know that I'm gonna marry this guy because we we even kind of talked about getting married and we were like oh let's do November of 2019 you know that sounds pretty good and you know we were even saying how um you know, that gives us more time and stuff like that. And then it was in February that I kind of brought up to the idea. I was like, I don't want you to leave. And I don't want to, you know, I, I want to get married. So what do you think of the idea of um, getting married before you leave? And he was going to leave like May 1st. And so he was like, okay, well, let's think about it. And then, you know, we'll kind of come back and, you know, we'll... We'll see how we feel, you know, now that we've discussed and kind of talked about a couple of dates possibly. And so what happened is then, you know, after a while, it was like a couple weeks that we were like, okay, this sounds good. And we chose April 26th. And um, <laughs> we talked about it at the end of February. So it was beginning of March. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I only have like all of March and half of April to prepare a wedding. And it actually, you know, some people are like, oh my gosh, planning a wedding is so hard. If you can actually make it quite easy. Um, we were able to find this one person who comes in and decorates for you and then takes it all down for you. So I literally, I had that person do it for me and then we had someone cater. And so I was like, okay, I need a wedding dress. I found my wedding dress on Amazon and it was only like $300 because I ended up getting it tailored. So total it was around, you know, $300. And then I made my own bouquet I made his corsage you know I I um I bought or boutonniere I think it's actually a boutonniere you know I just bought like fake flowers from Hobby Lobby and just kind of threw them together and you know I found um a cute wood sign from Hobby Lobby and I wrote um, our last name on it and then had people sign it with paint markers and I just it was super easy and it was so beautiful. Like it turned out, oh my gosh, it was just, it was so gorgeous. Like there was this pretty archway and this fake looking um, fountain and it was, it turned out so good. I tried to capture it in um, my picture that I'm drawing. Um, I had navy blue, so, you know, our families, all the boys wore navy blue suits, and then I went ahead and bought a peach tie, and that was my colors, navy blue and peach, and in this drawing, it's a little too orange, because it's, like, a very light, 
something a blushy peach I, I don't know um but yeah and then I just told the girls I said you know my, all my sisters my mom and you know my my mother-in-law and I said you know just you can wear navy or you can wear peach those are your options you find what you want if you want to wear a skirt if you want to wear a dress go ahead those are just the colors and I want to make sure that if people come they know who the family is because they're in those colors I didn't really have like the set um I'm gonna buy everyone a dress it was just kind of like you go out and you afford what you can and um yeah and so there I didn't put a whole lot of detail on my dress the bottom was plain and simple but then there's a lot of beadwork on top and it was really pretty and I actually was really impressed it came overseas I'm pretty sure and the only thing is it was very very large um, so like I said I took it into the tailor and they were able to make it a little thinner on my arms and around the waist and it looked a lot better the only thing I didn't like is there was a sash that was you know around the waist and it was like a cream color but because my dress was white it made the sash look yellow and I was like I don't know if I like that so I went ahead and I just got fabric and navy blue fabric and I just kind of taped it on with fabric fusion tape and it looked so good oh my gosh I yes I was very happy and I was able to do all of this I was able to get everything ready um, he picked out my ring I said you know I told him I said you know I want you to pick out my ring and I'll pick out yours and so it was kind of fun that way and everything was ready um end of March so it only took me the whole month of March to really have everything set in stone and then because the week before we were getting married I was going on vacation and so I was like I have to get everything ready by then and it was um you know you can make it as fancy or not fancy as you want I know that some people go all out and that's okay that's like your style but I was like you know I just want simple elegance pretty and that's what it was and something so the morning of I went to where the event was at and it was just actually just at a church just down the street from me and you know we opened up the church to make sure that the people who were decorating that the you know it was open for them and then um, we went ahead and um, in my religion I get married at a temple and so um, I was gonna go to the temple with my mom and we had it planned that we were gonna spend the me and my husband we were gonna spend the weekend in Park City Utah and then that Monday we were going to go to Texas and so our cars were completely full of stuff our wedding day like it was so full and what happened is I was, you know, getting everything ready. I had, you know, my curling iron and just in case, like, I needed to redo curls or whatever. And I didn't have a veil. I really didn't care for one. Um, so I didn't have a veil or anything. And I was thinking before me and my mom left, because me and my mom were going to drive to the temple. And... I was like, oh, I need to make sure to put my dress in the back of the truck because, um, you know, my dad and my siblings were going to go separately. And I said, I got to make sure that I put it in the back of the truck so that way, you know, we have it because that would be terrible if we forgot it. And so me and my mom, I'm like getting so anxious and I have butterflies in my stomach and, you know, you just want everything to like flow through. And it was starting to rain and I was like, oh my gosh, hopefully we can take pictures afterwards and um 
you know, we get there and I'm like, call dad, you got to make sure. And they were probably about mm, 15 minutes away. And my dad took the wrong car. So he didn't have my wedding dress. So he had to turn around and go get the other car that had my wedding dress in it. I was freaking out, but everything worked out fine. Pictures afterward, it was actually, it got really sunny and hot. And then um, we had a luncheon and after, you know, on our way to the luncheon, it started to rain again. And then it cleared up. And then we went to the reception and in the reception during that part it was raining so much and so it was just perfect because it was raining exactly when we needed it to and it was sunny exactly when we needed it to and it was just a beautiful day and I actually wasn't except for the little hiccup of forgetting my dress everything else was just wonderful I I just was taking in every moment and I just seemed so happy and by the end of the day my cheeks hurt so bad because I couldn't stop smiling and it has been quite the wild ride I always tell everyone because I was actually really nervous to get married because for the only fact is people say oh marriage is hard marriage is hard and for us this is just us marriage hasn't been hard life is hard but being married to him is not hard at all we get along very well we agree on a lot of things and we're just both easygoing and we're very honest with each other we're very loyal and being married to him is just easy it's it's wonderful and i know that it is not going to probably always be easy. I know that we will disagree on things. And I know that, you know, once we have kids, it's going to be another big challenge to kind of adapt to, okay, now we have to care for this child and we have to learn how to parent together. And that's going to be the next challenge that we have, you know, in the future. But life around us yeah it gets crappy this COVID thing or you know just life in general you know he broke his foot like a couple weeks after we got married and he had to have surgery that was hard like you know taking care of him and then you know kind of worrying financially that's hard that was difficult and you know just little things like that that it's like oh man like this sucks the situation sh sucks but i am happy because i'm doing this with you and i know that we can get through anything together because we have each other's backs and we just love each other so much and you know i kept telling him I said, we, there's no book that's written that says you need to date this long before you get married. You need to have this month, you know, this long of an engagement. I said, this is our story and we get to decide. We get to choose how long we want the engagement and what we feel is right because this is for us, no one else. And it it's just magical. There's so much I could say. And... I'm just so, so grateful to have him as my husband. He's very supportive, and I'm so glad that he is, he, like I said, he's supportive of me, you know, venturing off and trying this YouTube thing, and he's very supportive of the dreams that I have, and he lets me have that creative freedom, and he is such a big support, and I just love him so much, and it is definitely the best memory. Every day is just such a good memory, and I am so lucky that I get to spend so much time with him, and yeah, that's my favorite memory, and I, it continues to be, you know, there's other, you know, there's other things that I'm like, oh, this is a good memory, you know, just being around him, and just, you know, going to places or our favorite restaurants or whatever, but being married to him and that, you know, our wedding day was definitely a very special day. It was just happy and it was perfect and it was wonderful.
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, leave a like and a comment. Until next time, keep creating.